all right everyone welcome back to another video so we are skiing this season and so I'm in my mid 30s and never been skiing I've done horseback I've done soccer I've done rock climbing zip lining all that stuff and I've never had the chance to go ski or snowboard and so Amanda my wife she actually has been skiing since she was little so I was like beginning of this year which was March because we still had a ski season up here in Arizona up in Flag I was like let's go try to go skiing so we did and we rented skis for me she still had them from back when she skied when she was younger and so we rented me skis when picked them up they're obviously they're not that long because I'm only like 5'5 five five, so I think they were like 150 centimeters long so they weren't too long so got up there tried them out had our fun up at snowball and really I enjoyed it a lot so I was really super excited about this season coming up at the end of the year in 2022 so since I knew that I would love it we went ahead and invested because I know she really liked enjoying she really enjoyed going back and doing it so we invested in gear because I know it's something that we want to do and the van makes it really super easy to all right so the skis that we ended up going with are the Rebel 8s ski boards and we ended up going with the sticky ickies we absolutely so far have absolutely just loved these for a beginner I've absolutely enjoyed these because of the fact that they're not like your typical skis mine that I rented were like I said about 150 um, centimeters long these are actually only 104 with a five millimeter camber as well too which has been really nice it also does have a slight rocker in it and the big difference that I kind of noticed between the long skis and like these ski boards are kind of the flexibility that I had the balance in them it really helps with my knees um, Amanda's also felt kind of the same thing as well too the big difference for her is like the base here is a little bit thicker just because of like skis are a little bit narrower here so that took her a little bit to get used to but she's really enjoyed them as well too one of the things that you'll notice is that this does have a riser on here so it doesn't sit all the way flush with the board so we ended up doing risers because we like the bindings with the brakes on them Rebel 8 also does do non-release bindings that is really set for a specific height too because me and her she's 5'1 I'm 5'5 this is the better option for the sticky icky and um, at skiwards.com honest they were just absolutely super phenomenal to work with especially with me being a beginner and doing my research and trying to figure out what's going to work best for me with the shorter boards it felt like I was just rollerblading or ice hockey where I had a lot more control for me personally and I didn't keep crossing my own boards I know that's something that you learn but this is something that I felt a lot more comfortable with right away so we've really enjoyed having these so far and at the end of the season we'll definitely go over a review of how the season went with them she can go over about how the big difference between her skis and what these were once again these are the sticky eggies and the design of them just fits us so well they're just so so pretty and they have such a good design on them next thing that we've got are some ski poles um, found these on sale for us they're 44 inches 110 centimeters long we really like them because they had the grip holds where you're able to distinguish kind of like just a finger from the rest of your hand a lot of them had like individual holes not something that we like but we also like the fact that it was easy to loop so with ski boards from my research and from watching other people what I can tell is they don't really use ski poles and which is fine I absolutely understand as a beginner for myself I wanted something to kind of help me get around a little bit and kind of get used to everything and then I'm hoping once I progress will be able to, you know, have me maybe just use one ski pole or not have to use any ski poles, which would be great. So for her, she doesn't really need ski poles, honestly. She just kind of zooms around anyway and she's been doing it for so long, but it, we definitely, we both got a pair just in case. Um, 
these weren't too expensive. I think they were on sale for like fifty dollars each. I know I'm gonna butcher the name of them, but they're the they're the Rosses. Um, Ross Signo Signo Go Signo. Sorry, I know that's that's a very popular brand. I can tell you that. Um, they we kind of got them in a black OD green, but it's really hard to see with the um, the lighting. But it's got like a little bit of a like a tint to it, which has been nice. Just nice dark color, so that way it pops out in the white snow. So, but this is another part of our gear that we've got. Something that's very important to me because I've done a lot of horseback riding is um, having the right head protection. Um, especially when I rode motorcycles too, I did the same thing just because um, I've had multiple concussions because of like falling off of horses or being in a car accident, things like that. So we went with the sandbox helmets and what we love about them is they do have this little lip on here. So as you can see, and I have like our little 360 camera attached to this, but it has like a brim like a hat does and we've absolutely loved having that. This is the camo one and for this one this is the sandbox model classic 2.0 and so ended up getting this it has the ear protection as well too that you can take on or off but this has been something that's been really nice to have it makes me feel a lot better with doing these sports because skiing snowboarding it's just as dangerous as anything that you do especially when it comes like to horseback riding so i wanted to make sure i had the right protection She's got the same one. Hers is like a splatter colored, but it's the exact same helmet. We just, we really love having that brim on there. It just makes a difference, especially when you're just kind of chilling and just want to sit down for a second or if you're waiting in the lift line. Love having that. And then for our goggles, we got Smith goggles. These are really nice. These are the Skyline. This is a chrome, chromo pop lens on here. Mostly it is going to be sunny out here in Arizona most of the time um, and so far we have had a lot of snow and flag stuff lately so that would probably call for a different type of lens but we ended up getting ones that are a little bit smaller of a frame because we both have small faces so we both have the Smiths she has like a chromo like a purple one that's a little bit for like the cloudy days but this one's mostly made for the sunny days from what I can remember when I was doing my research and buying these but this is pretty much our whole head setup. Um, I do, I love the camo. Honestly, a lot of helmets didn't have that, but so far this has been super comfortable. It's kept my head very warm. I don't need to wear a beanie underneath it, but she does. Um, I stay pretty hot in general. So right now, just the lining that's in here has been keeping me pretty warm. All right, so then, I have like a Moreno rule buff that I wear. It's a topographical one. I absolutely love having this. Um, keep it around my neck, just pull it up obviously when we're just standing there or on the lift. Um, it's light enough and thin enough to where it's really not gonna bother me when it's like under my neck. Um, sometimes things like that do. I usually wear a lot of Heelys or V-necks because I like not having things up close to my throat. So this has been great we also both have our gloves i have some dinkin gloves that have some nice um, on the inside some rubber that way it grips things really well so far these have been awesome it's not been too cold yet we've not been in too cold of climates to really see if i need gloves all the time so far i haven't worn them all the time but when i have it's nice because i still feel like i have that dexterity and they're not just massive mittens so these have been awesome. And then for our base layer, what we're trying out, we just got this right after we went skiing, but we ended up going with some Smart Wool base layers. So these are their leggings, and these are in female, but they have the males as well too. And these are three-fourths long, and they're kind of made for skiing in colder weather. And what's really nice is that the length of them, they come right to just right, maybe a half an inch into my boot. So that way I don't have to like shove a whole bunch of things or like pull things out. So we're really hoping this will keep us warm as well too as a base layer underneath. 
the other base layer just for me um, I'll wear under my jacket and bibs is just a Healy for right now I'm not cold enough to add something else because like I said my body just runs really hot for her she'll wear a thermal and then like a Healy as well too and then her jacket because she does get colder easily so this is one of the base layers that we do main get up these are bibs that we got from Obermeyer, and we have absolutely loved having these. They're very simple, easy to get on. These are awesome because if you fall down, most of the time you're not gonna get snow up your butt. So they have like a crisscross here in the back like most typical bibs do. What's really nice about the Obermeyer brand that we have come across so far is that they have everything in like a petite, or a short which has been awesome because then we're not dragging our legs so much or they're not dragging while we walk or getting caught on the boots because some ski clothes can be a little bit longer and because we're both short this has really been helpful so has a nice wide bottom for the boots and then has plenty of pockets as well too I like the fact that it's got like this central pocket up front that you can use. It's got a little velcro right there and then it's got its typical normal pockets here on the side and then we'll just be attaching our ski passes like to right here so around the belt loops. And then our jackets are actually Obermeyer as well too. Um, we just happened to stumble across these in the ski shop and then we went online and we were able to order like 16 petite so the problem that I was having is that I have large hips and so when I would zip a jacket up then all of a sudden I couldn't move my hips I felt really restrained so in a lot of the sports that I've done it's either skin tight or a little bit loose and we went on to their side and we found that they did petites which was awesome because then we were able to get jackets where we could put them on and then they won't restrict our hips so that was great find on these and they have your typical goggle pocket here they've also got it where you can clip yourself in so that way you don't get snow up the back or your bum and then it also has its typical side pocket as well too what i really loved about these was that they had a removable hood because you know all female stuff for some reason wants to be furry i don't get it but What's nice is that the whole hood is removable from the bag. So we've taken both of these off because either we'll wear beanies or I'll have a hoodie on or we've got our helmets on. So it was just really nice because it's just able to unzip from right back here. So that way you didn't have a problem removing it. Last but not least, maybe the second heaviest thing um, other than the ski boards are my boots. Um, my boots are K2s. They are the BFC W95 and they're also a heated boot and also a walk mode boot. So you can see on the back here, it's got the walk mode up top here. You can see the button for the Bluetooth heating as well too. For these boots, I was super excited about them because I wear a lot of ultras, which if you're in the shoe world or like hiking, it's a shoe box that's very wide and open. And it's awesome because it lets your foot kind of just, you know, splail out and kind of level. And then that way you don't feel so crammed. With these boots, they are super wide. They are very comfortable. Um, the walk mode is absolutely great too. I know that's for a lot of alpine skiing. And that's something that I probably obviously won't be doing anytime in the future. But I ended up getting them because I tried on all kinds of boots before the season started too. And I couldn't find a boot that fit my foot really well that was wide enough to where I didn't feel crammed. With these, it was just a home run. I loved the K2s, they've been absolutely wonderful. I don't really need or probably will use the heating feature with them, 
because like I said, I stay warm and the only sock that I wear in there is like an ankle level sock because I get so hot. That might change when we go to like Brian's Head or go up into Colorado for Perg. So I don't know how that's going to go. The heating mechanism in them is charged, but I have absolutely loved having these. They're so comfortable. They are heavy compared to her boots. Um, her boots are a lot lighter than mine. They don't have the walk feature, but they do have the grip walk, but she has a narrower foot than I do. And for her, those work really well. So here's her boots, which are the Salmon S Pro HV 80 WCs. So for these, for her, they work really great. We did get the grip walk installed on these, which really doesn't make a difference, especially when you're walking up in ice. Although nothing really helps that, but it's been nice to have these. These are super light. She's really enjoyed these. We'll run through this gear this season, see how all of it goes, see if we do any changes. I think the first change I wanna do is maybe the goggles with the interchangeable lenses that I've noticed because we're going to be going to different resorts. So that might be something, but other than that, We've absolutely loved having the Rebel 8 ski boards, the Sticky Ickies. I would say if you're a beginner, try those. It, or if you can rent ski boards, maybe not so much the Rebel 8s, but I know there is a company that rents ski boards as well too. I would say try that out. They were a lot of fun. I never had any problems with them. So far, don't quote me on that. We'll definitely let you know like our dislikes, our likes, if anything needs to change or like if anything broke along the way, we'll give you those updates at the end of the season once we are done testing all of this gear. Until next time guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. We're coming out with videos weekly and we will see you in the next one.